Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Hey, today's recipe, we're making chili beans. Now this recipe is fashioned after the way my father used to make chili beans when we had our restaurant. Uh, and by that, I mean that he uh, used his enchilada sauce as the base for the, the chili beans. And so they were very delicious. If you have a good sauce, guys, it's gonna be good. So I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after this. So before we go over our ingredients, I just want to mention that you need to make your enchilada sauce first. Now I have two recipes for you. Uh, one is gluten-free, the other is not, and I will leave links to those down below in the description of this video. Now keep in mind that this enchilada sauce, when you make it, only takes about 15 minutes, so it's very quick and easy to do, so don't let that be a deterrent for you. All right, so let's go over the rest of our ingredients. So of course here I've got my enchilada sauce right here already made. We'll need some ground beef some diced uh, yellow onion. I have some pinto beans here. I just used some canned pinto beans for this. I have some minced garlic and some salt, and that's it, guys. I've got my pan, my fairly large pan here, over medium-high heat, and I'm gonna add just a, a touch of olive oil. I didn't have that in my ingredient list, but I'm just gonna put a little bit in there, toss in the onions, and just saute these for about three minutes before I add the, the ground beef. Here's our onions after three to four minutes. They're getting you know, a little translucent and it's time to add our ground beef to the pan. I like to use uh, grass-fed beef when I can, guys. So just break this up. And once we get this cooked, you know, we're gonna have a lot of fat in the, well, we'll have some fat in our, uh, in our mixture here and we're gonna wanna drain that out. All right, so I drained out the grease. Now I'm gonna add the garlic. In fact, I'm just gonna put it right here in the middle of the pan so that it can actually start to kind of cook a little bit. I'm just gonna cook this for about, you know, about a minute or two. And now I'm gonna add a little salt to this. All right, so now it's time to add our beans to the pan, so we'll do that. Give this a toss, make sure the beans are mixed in. And now it's time to add our, our enchilada sauce and then we're done. Now you're gonna add as much as you want for the consistency that you want, okay? And we're heating it up again now. My enchilada sauce has cooled down a bit, so uh, it thickens up, but as we reheat it, it will thin a bit. So this recipe was requested by one of my viewers, Alpha Omega. He said that I had mentioned making uh, chili beans with the enchilada sauce, and lo and behold, I had never made that video. So here it is today, guys. All right, so let's serve this up. You can see it, nice and thick, it's very hearty, and it's all about sauce, guys. And I highly recommend that you add a little cheddar cheese to the top, let it melt in. It goes perfect with this sauce. All right, I'm gonna give this a little taste. Like I said, the cheese is a nice compliment. Good, you know, it's a perfect flavor match. And um, it's got a little heat to it, guys, from the chili powder. So depending on the chili powder that you end up buying, it can be a little hotter or not. So that can vary. Anyway, delicious recipe, guys. I think you're gonna love the flavors. It's super easy. Um, you can put this together in no time. And it makes a, quite a nice, you know, batch of it. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I certainly enjoyed making it for you. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, Click the button up there, the subscribe button at the bottom, and you'll be notified every week uh, when a new video comes out. So if you like the video, you know, let me know about it. Leave it in the comments below and um, give me a thumbs up. So thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.